So the completion of the lap two. It's still the Rothmans Porsches first and second, but if anything, Beloff now closing in on Jochen Maas. By himself in third place, Sparks flying from the underside of the bodywork through Earl Rouge. There's John Fitzpatrick. So once again, number one leads, Rothmans Porsche leads. In second place, we still have Stefan Beloff. In third place, Derek Warwick, all by himself, but all eyes turned on to this battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth place, and Stefan Johansson is coming up very quickly with the Jers Porsche in seventh place. So the two Rothmans cars, first and second, are now closing up. Stefan Beloff closing in on race leader Jochen Maas. Third still Warwick, and fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and up into sixth place goes Stefan Johansson, almost shoving his way past Klaus Ludwig. So Johansson goes up into sixth place with the Jerst Porsche. And out of the Rivage, it is still the two Rothmans Porsches first and second, but Beloff now challenging Jochen Maas for the lead of the Spa race here. And just look at this battle for fourth place. It's the Lancia Martini of Riccardo Petresi still in fourth place. John Fitzpatrick in fifth place. Stefan Johansson in sixth place. And Johansson, of course, driving with Bob Wallach and his team. And Wallach leads the World Endurance Championship for drivers. So he wants to score maximum points here and get as close to these two cars lying first and second as possible. Mass still leads, taking a tail ender. Derek Warwick still in third place with the Boss Porsche. Sparks flying from the underneath of that car. In fourth place is Patrese. Fifth now is Johansson. In sixth place is Ludwig. Fitzpatrick's gone into the pits with a puncture. So Fitzpatrick out of the battle of fourth, fifth, and sixth place, but that's getting very fraught there. Seventh place now is number six, driven by uh, Barilla, the Lancia. Eighth, Gensani. Ninth, the Aston Martin. And tenth, the Boss Porsche of Lassig. And there is Ricardo Petrese going very slowly. Petrese is going very slowly indeed. And Stefan Johansson is missing with the just Porsche. So Johansson, there is Porsche number eight. And they had it coming together at the Rivage corner at the top end of the circuit. And Stefan Johansson looks to be out of the race. First and second coming through the Radion. Third place there, still Warwick. Fourth place now, Ludwig. Fifth place is Stuck. In sixth place looks to be Barilla. Seventh place Heyer. In eighth place Ginsani. So that is a real turn up for the Black Lassig in ninth place. In tenth place the Canon Porsche. In eleventh place now the Aston Martin of Ray Malik. So the Rothmans Porsche is still very close, first and second, but this is a real surprise. Stefan Johansson, Ricardo Petrese touching there, and the Rothmans Porsches once again first and second, so mass leading. And there Johansson is out of the car and he's received uh, help from the marshals. So even if he gets going, he's going to be disqualified. And that puts Bob Wallach out of that car. He's, of course, the reserve driver for the Merle Hale car, but that's way down the order at the moment. So a real surprise here at the Spa race. The world championship leader out at the moment of the race, Bob Wallach, way down the order. But number eight will most certainly take no further part in the 1983 Spa 1000-kilometer race. There is Stefan Johansson bringing the car slowly back to the pits.